Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. And welcome back to the channel if you're already a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, while you're watching this, if you like the content, click the little subscribe button. See in the background, you see Dolores over there, and I think today uh, is going to be a Dolores day. I've got a, uh, I've got a 13-speed transmission. Um, it sat around with water in it for a long time. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take that out of the shop, get the pressure washer out, and uh, degrease and clean all the gears in there and give them a look-see, and then uh, dry it out and fill it up with the oil and put it in that thing. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, clutch that came on that engine. I'm just going to clean up the flywheel a little bit. I'm going to put the clutch on. I'm going to put that 13 speed in and get it mounted up and measure for a drive shaft <clears throat> and uh, try and locate one. I'm hoping this 13 speed ends up being a good transmission and uh, put it in that truck and everything works out. Fingers crossed, but let's get started. So you've seen Trish had a little struggle to get started this morning uh, compared to normal. It was down in the 20s last night, so uh, <clears throat> she's pretty cold. But she's still starting right up. Most have three batteries, so only has two, which is fine for the summer, but in the winter it takes a little bit more to get her going. But anyhow, let's get her warmed up and uh, full of air, and we'll back it up into the yard.
All right, I think uh, job well done. We're going to uh, clean up the fresh washer, put it back. We'll get some air and we'll blow that transmission out, get all the water out of it, put the plug back in, pour some oil on it, uh, roll it around in the oil, get everything coated real well, and uh, get ready to put it inside Dolores. We'll be back. 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 We'll be right back. All right, so we found the plug. Let's get a little uh, sealer on the threads, get it in there, and then we'll uh, pour a bucket of oil in there, mix it all around, and uh, put the cover back on. Cover's on, or uh, plugs in. I'm gonna scoot that back a little bit. All right, let me go with some oil in that top cover. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna put there about two gallon of oil in the strands and uh, you know, I'm pretty confident that that it's clean enough. So I'm going to throw a couple gallons in and then uh, we'll make sure all the bearings and everything get a good coating and we'll uh, Might even just put this whole five gallons in, as long as I don't see uh, any crazy leak or anything. I think this holds about seven gallons of oil, but
All right, let's give it a look in here. pressure off that thing. Let's put this one in. There we go. You know that thing has a, t a pressure gauge right on it. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to... All right, guys. So up there is the clutch. So I'm going to get the ladder, go up, and I'm going to bring the clutch down piece at a time. And then uh, once I get it down here, I'll clean it up, and uh, we'll find the bolts, and uh, we'll get it put on the on the transmission. We'll get that throw up bearing greased up. Or we'll get it put on the engine. We'll get that throw up bearing grease up, and then we'll get that transmission set in there and bolt it up. Uh, rear seal on the transmission is leaking. We'll have to go out to Junior's, see if we can get one. Uh, it's a drip, like every five minutes is a drip, which is unfortunate because, you know, when it's sitting in the truck, it's just going to be leaking on the ground, and that's $100 of oil that we will be wasting. So let's get her done. One clutch disc. Come on now. Whoa. Almost took the fast way down. <sighs> All right. Ooh. Almost took the fast way down again.
Well, this baby is heavy. So we'll uh, try and bring it over close. I think we're gonna scoot this over. And that way, when we come down, we're gonna come straight down. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, worst case scenario is I drop it. Uh, I'm gonna try and get it straight over my head. I don't know. I got it. Huh? That hurts. Okay. Oh. It hurts. All right, so I'll get some brake clean and uh, we'll brake clean this up and I'll hit it with the DA and then we'll uh, take it out to the truck. Man, whoops, killed my shirt. Yeah, I'll clean it up and uh, then we'll take it out to the truck and uh, get it put on, get that transmission in. Whew. cleaned up let's go out to the truck okay now we're gonna build this clutch This thing's kind of annoying, but all right. So I want to say that the deepest part goes in, but I don't know for sure. So I'm going to take, separate these pieces and I'm going to put this clutch in and see if it, if it fits. Okay, so it's a good thing I didn't do that, because that is not going to fit. Okay. Now I'm going to see if the deepest part of the fit clutch fits the pressure plate, and it does. Okay. I think this goes this way. Ouch. Of course, it doesn't really want to, so I'm going to say it doesn't. That fits pretty good. And then. I'm going to say that fits the motor, 
Let's make sure. Okay, so for me, I think they had the clutch backwards. They did. So this is how the clutch goes. I saw the bolts were a little chewed up. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure, but I am now. I am 100% sure that I have the clutch correct. Uh, so I'm gonna pull this over here and set it on here. And then we'll get the alignment tool in and uh, then we'll try and muscle it down there and see what happens. Now remember these weigh about buck 50. Ah, man. Wow. And then you put this piece in there and it jacks it up another another 30 pounds or so. Okay. So what we're going to do is like we did last time, we're gonna pick it up, turn around and put it on. Now this is in my way, so I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. But uh, let's get real. I got it. I think I got it. Holy shit, dude. Oh. Holy shit, dude. Give me that, uh, that, uh, battery powered. Holy shit, dude. I held that thing till muscle failure. Uh -huh. All right, dude, that was horrible. Oh, I imagine. Thanks, what? Two hundred fifty pounds. One hundred fifty. Yep, one hundred fifty pounds. I don't think that went. Oh, I'm regretting that. Yeah. Right. Oh, my old, my old ass, too old to be. Putting clutches in by hand. Oh, I know. <sighs> okay, so. Yeah. I think we'll jack this cab up. 
and uh, all right, and uh, yeah, we'll move the trailer out of the way. We'll jack the cab up. We'll get the forks with the transmission on the end of the forks, and we'll just stick it in, right? Just pick it up and stick it in. We're gonna pick it up and stick it in. Got to get this uh, this brace here. It's got to go up on top of the transmission. We got to come in, kind of on an angle, turn, and then lower down. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a treat trying to get it in there. Now, we got the cab blocked up, but not real well. So we gotta be super careful. Um, I do have the safety catch in. In case it does come down, it should stop it. And I got that four by four on an angle over there. And it's holding most of the weight. I just rode it in there. It's going to be uh, going to be interesting. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some long bolts, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I was trying to put the transmission in. We were real close to having it. And then I got thinking about how the clutch actuates on this thing. And uh, this has a push clutch that has a push rod that comes off of this. And when you push the clutch down, it pushes this rod back. Um, the problem is with this on the top like this, this is set to... Uh, This is set to pull the clutch, pull instead of push. So uh, we're going to change this this rod around inside and uh, move it down to the bottom holes. And the bottom holes don't have a bushing or anything. 
So, not really 100% sure what I'm gonna do. Okay, so what we determined was that uh, this clutch, uh, this clutch rod is the rod and it does face down. And uh, then here's this tray right here that the shift rod or the fork fits in and then it goes down and it does push the clutch down. So uh, we're going to, uh, yep, and this is the same rod too. So we're going to put this back on um, while we've got the transmission able to, to move. Okay, and then we're going to set that. Where's the clutch brake? How come this doesn't have a clutch brake on it? It's going to be very difficult to, uh, that's going to be very difficult. We're going to need to find a clutch brake real quick. In a perfect world, this is going to work. Let me, uh, let me straddle this and see if I can pull it out with this 4x4 four four. instead of uh, instead of my fa my hands so not all far enough don't be like that Jeff yeah. <clears throat> oh shit well I don't want my hands in anywhere to you got it in that you got that spline right Okay, I've got it in the bottom one, correct? There's one in the top and the bottom. Okay, got it in the right. Okay, and then you gotta move the clutch arm, rotate the clutch arm up so you can get behind it. Is it behind it? Yes, sir. Okay. Sure. Well, that was easier than I thought. Okay. Of course, because he didn't have to do it by yourself. <laughs> Come on now. Okay. All right, so get back on the forklift, and all you're gonna do is crank that, uh, crank it up, and just drive it forward. You only got a couple inches, so put it in neutral. Okay, so neutral. Where? How do you put it in neutral? That one over there on your left hand, this forward. Here? Yep, right there. Hold the brake. Yeah, I'm on the brake. All right, crank the wheel a little tighter. Yep. Now. Come forward a little bit. Good. And go up a little. Up your forwards. Yep, up and up. Lever. Up a little. Forwards up, up. on the lever. We're in neutral. Uh, yeah, forward is up on the lever. Okay. Keep the brake on. Go up a little with the thing. Towards you. Yep. Towards you. I am. A little more. Start rolling. Okay. Uh, come on forward a little bit. It will. The parking brake on? Yeah, yeah, that would make a difference. Up. 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 Forward. Hold it. We're going on something. Right, we're up because the semi was a forklift on this side. Okay, just hold it right there. Up, up, up. Keep doing it. One more. Hold it. All right. Jeff got on the forklift, and I got under here, and we got this thing in. Unfortunately, I forgot to press the go button, so nobody gets to watch. You just got to take my word for it. Uh, I want to say that there was no bolt in this hole right from the go. Alright, let's get this forklift off here. So, uh, we'll come down, I'll unhook you, 
then keep the wheels like they are and turn back that way. Turn that and Yeah, and then just park it. This is a James Pretty patented method right here. Turn. Take a little out of the turn. More. Keep going, yeah. All right, there. All right, now crank it hard. Take the ass in that way. That's good, straight back. That's good right there. Uh, right behind the Belvedere. Because I was working on that yesterday, so it collected a lot of parts. So let me see if I can sum up for you guys. Let's see. Let's see. Horrible. Let's see if I can get it right here. Okay, uh, there's like nine of them in there somewhere. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. Um, let's turn this this way. All right, guys. So, you see here, got the transmission in. And uh, I think we got all the, all the shift shafts lubed up. Uh, all right, thanks, bro. I'm going to spray those down a little bit with some deep creep. There's some springs that go in here. You guys are probably familiar with and then a detent ball. So uh, we're going to need those. But in the meantime, I'm going to creep them all up. And then uh, we'll put that cover off Trisha's old transmission on here to keep the water out. I've got the, uh, the shifter is all froze up so i got that soaking we'll get that working and uh, we'll get that bolted on and we'll see if we can get this to shift some gears and uh we'll put the clutch lever in and uh the clutch rod we'll let the cab back down and we'll see if uh if the clutch works too but that's going to be another day right now i'm going to i'm going to measure for the drive shaft and i'm going to say that uh, center of the yoke to center of the yoke is going to be 44 inches so 44 inches I'll call JP see if he's got the right shaft and uh, we'll get it put in and then maybe we could drive this thing oh by a lot to go first but anyways guys that's it for today i'm super pooped and uh i appreciate you coming and watching the youtube channel you know i like to share uh the things i do with you guys out there in youtube land and uh you know on the youtubes youtube channel with the youtubes but uh anyways that's all don't forget to like comment click the little subscribe button down there that does something for me and the little bell icon that does something for you We'll see you. All right, guys. Well, we're going to put this cover up on. Uh, all right. Cover's on. Should keep the water out of there. And we're going to we're going to let the truck we're gonna let the cab down. All right, let's give it a look. Oops. Forgot to take the safety catch off. Boy, that thing's really working nice. I like it. All right, here we go. Now I do have one cylinder leaking and it's not this one surprisingly, it's the other side. And uh, so we're gonna have to get one, but you know those are expensive, super expensive. So we'll, uh, we'll get one coming though.
All right, there you go. Well, guys, thanks for coming. Appreciate you watching. Transmission's installed. Next on the list is get a drive shaft, a couple of U-joints. Get that installed. Get the clutch working. Uh, speaking of clutch working, um, yeah, we'll have to get the clutch linkage working. Uh, next time I'm out, I'll do that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, fuel system, just waiting on the fuel filter housing and fittings from Brandon. Once those come, I'll get this uh, fuel tank plumbed in. It's already clean. I already did that. Um, so it's just a matter of sticking it in. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for a return because that tank gets the return line. So just we'll cross that bridge later. Anyways, guys, I do appreciate you coming by. I've totally ruined my clothes. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you.